Coating is an industrial process that consists of applying a liquid or a powder onto the surface of a product of any possible shape to convey new usually sensory properties. Coating designates an operation as much as the result of it, the application of a layer and the layer itself. Coating takes different meanings depending on the industry concerned. Definitions This article concerns coating applications in the food industry. There are many similarities between coating processes and numerous examples of technology transfer to and from the food industry. Coating in the food industry is the application of a layer of liquids or solids onto a product. The operation essentially relies on mechanical energy. It consists mostly in setting the product particles in motion and simultaneously applying the coating ingredient in a certain pattern to expose one to the other. It involves such phenomena as adhesion, friction, viscosity, surface tension and crystallization. Food coating is not a hard science such as drying or cooling, which can be described by equations and are predictable. Food coating is rather a soft knowledge derived from the accumulation of know-how. One reason is that the product and the ingredients considered have complex characteristics, variations and interactions. Encapsulation is the application of a liquid layer to very small particles. It relies on an array of principles, entrapping a molecule inside a matrix, chemical bonding, and polymerization. Encapsulation aims at the protection and controlled release of active molecules when immersed in an environment. As a rule of thumb, particle size can discriminate between encapsulation below 300 micrometers to 1000 micrometers and food coating above this limit. Mere mechanical movement is not adequate and sufficient to fulfill the proper coating of minute particles. Pictures Topic: <inaudible> Objectives of coating Coatings can be added for the enhancement of organoleptic properties of a food product. Appearance and palatability can be improved by adding color, white draggy, brown chocolate, changing the surface aspect, glazed sweets or rough, crispy nuggets, changing or adding tastes, sweet draggy, salted snack or flavors, fruit glazed sweet goods or texture, breaded crispy nuggets. Coatings also can be used to add vitamins and minerals, enriched white rice or food energy. Coating conveys functional properties, such as particle separation oiled dry fruit, shredded cheese, antioxidant effect fruit cubes, or a barrier effect water migration between a layer of ice cream and a biscuit cookie or against moisture lost of chewing gum. Barrier effects are often difficult to achieve. An ingredient may be cheaper than the product it coats and thus allows for a slight cost reduction. The coating process The coating process begins with the application of the coating on the food product, but the end product must be stable throughout its shelf life. Therefore, a coating process is completed by a stabilizing process, either by freezing, cooling, heating or drying. The sequences of this process are Application – To apply minute quantities of an ingredient, spraying is used to disperse it first, instead of just pouring it. This hastens the dispersion on the whole surface of the product. For larger ratios of coating to substrate, mixing or dipping can be used. Multiple stages also can be used. Breaded meats, for example, may have a dry application, predust followed by a wet batter dip and then another dry crumb application. Adhesion – The coating must adhere to the product, meaning there must be a degree of affinity between the ingredient and the product. Coalescence – In case of a liquid, the multiple droplets may merge to form a uniform continuous layer. Characteristics of the ingredient in relation to the product, such as viscosity and surface tension associated to a mechanical effect friction are critical. Stabilization – Depending on the nature of the coating ingredients and substrate product, the ingredient is stabilized by elimination of the solvent drying and evaporation of water, alcohol, crystallization – Sugar crystallizes when water is evaporated, fat crystallizes when cooled, or thermal treatment – Proteins set irreversibly when heated. A coating process can be broken into the following elements Inputs – Base product, additives and ingredients Additional flows, air as a carrier of product or ingredient, or for drying, energy in a mechanical agitation, transfer, friction or a thermal form convection, conduction or radiation heating 
outputs, end product, excess of coating ingredient, lost or to be recycled collaterals occur along the process. Breakage of product, generation of fines, small particles, agglomeration of products, clogging of system surfaces with product or ingredient. Airborne pollution, volatile organic component. These effects generally are to be avoided unless the end product is made more desirable. Parameters affecting the system are listed by origin. This first set of criteria governs the choice of the coating ingredient. The coating consists either in a single ingredient or a mix. This mix has different physical forms solution, emulsion, suspension, powder, etc. It has its own characteristics. In addition, a fluid may be required such as spraying, cooling, heating or drying air. The combination of the above characteristics drives the choice of the process principle. It has then to be precisely described. The selection of the proper process and its control rely on the gathering of precise and reliable information. The influence of some phenomena and their parameters is critical, crystallization, water removal drying, glass transition, viscosity, or surface tension. Among the parameters, temperature has a choice place. It influences viscosity, surface tension, drying or crystallization behavior. Ultimately, it influences the coating rate thickness, weight gain and coating resistance. It therefore influences the degree of clogging of product and ingredient in the system. For example, fat will tend to set preferably on a cool product if the system wall is kept at a higher temperature. Topic Practice Topic Coding Ingredients Topic Coding Techniques For the sake of classification, two categories can be split easily into batch or continuous processes. Then, the categories can be refined according to the way the product is set in motion and the ingredient applied. Then, techniques allow either for just coating or can combine coating and setting in the same equipment. Criteria for the selection of a technique Base product characteristics, shape, size, bulk density. Size is the first criterion. Mechanical resistance of the base product. Final thickness of the coating layer. Complete, partial, top, side, bottom coating. Number of sequences to repeat. Processing time for each sequence. Setting mode, drying, cooling, freezing. Capacity. Preferred batch or continuous system, comparison batch versus continuous. The demand for higher yields makes production managers want to shift from manual batch to continuous automated systems. One has to consider the pros and contras prior to go for a costly and risky decision. Topic: Peripherals. Given the number of operations and steps, a coating process can be an extensive process considered as a whole. The process core machine requires peripherals to serve it. A few frequent ones are listed for information. Storage Ingredient preparation Product feeding and metering Ingredient dosing Filtration or sieving Application system Recycling Measures Test results can be immediately evaluated visual aspect but are preferably assessed by careful measures, to allow monitoring, to agree on commissioning, to certify conformity with customer requirements. Typical measures Optical, color, microscopy homogeneity, thickness, image analysis. Weighing, weighing before and after treatment, weighing between batches or individual particles. Specific measurements according to target, compaction, barrier property. <laughs> <laughs> 